Several times a day we turn to our phones expecting a notification, but nothing is there. Maybe you felt a buzz. Maybe you didn't. Why do we feel phantom vibrations from our phones? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned why it's not all in our heads, but our bodies. How often have you felt a phantom vibration? I would say like multiple times a day. Sometimes, like if it happens like three times a day, I'll be like, what is going on? And I'll take my watch off for a minute. Our devices are in our pockets, hands, strapped to our wrists, offering a constant opportunity to get a buzz or at least think we did. I mean, some people can feel the vibration when their phone is in their purse or they think they hear or see their phone alert going off when it's not even on their person. Dr. Michelle Druin is a psychology professor who has studied this phenomenon. What is phantom vibration syndrome? Phantom vibration syndrome is when you think that your phone is making an alert, a vibration, a sound, and you go to check it, and actually there wasn't anything. So what it technically is, is a hallucination. Why do we think we felt a vibration? There might be a lot of reasons why you think you felt a vibration. The first is anticipation. I don't know, maybe you're expecting something, so you're like thinking it's coming, so then it vibrates. Then actual physical touch. Maybe your pant leg rubbed against you or you bumped into something. Now let's go below the surface. For instance, you can have a uh, muscle spasm. Paul Schrader is a psychology and computer muscles. science professor. Our muscles are always active and our muscles get active. They're sensed by these sensors within our skin and within our muscles. But rather than acknowledge never ending movements our muscles make, Schrader says we ignore them or associate them with our phones. It is incredibly important to us, addictive, you know, um, but it's also one of the most frequent things in our environment. And our brain uses importance and frequency to disambiguate ambiguous signals. Because my watch vibrates probably like seven, eight times an hour at least. So if it goes like 30 minutes without vibrating, I think that's weird. It's almost the expectation of our culture that you're going to be responsive 24 seven. Mm. If you turn off vibration for a little bit, do you think the phantom vibrations would then Ooh, go away? That's a good question, I don't know. It's a move Dr. Druin tried 10 years ago. I think switching it off vibrate mode is the reason why I haven't had a phantom vibration and not having any notifications. Jeff Wagner. I'm not expecting them and so I'm not looking for that. WCCO News.